we're concerned enough about it locally, and, and that's why we flagged this uh, to the World Health Organization and, and to other bodies to make people aware of this. And, and as you mentioned in your clip, the, this will be discussed at a, at a meeting later today at the World Health Organization. I think we're concerned uh, because of the, the the pattern of the mutations we see in this variant and, and what those mutations could do to the behavior of the virus. And we're concerned because we see it, uh, again, this rapid rise in cases in, in one particular part of South Africa at the moment. But we are also seeing in, in, in neighboring countries who have detected this variant uh, in Botswana. One of the concerns is that uh, a variant will evade vaccines. What does this variant uh, look like at this stage? Do you, do you think it does pose a threat to even vaccinated populations? I think what we've seen so far in this pandemic is that these vaccines hold up very well in protecting against severe disease and hospitalization and death with the different variants that have emerged so far. And they remain the critical tool for that. It remains to be seen whether, whether uh, this variant can, can evade some of the vaccine protection against infection, uh, but we hope that it still holds up well against a kind of severe disease and, and, and uh, that it protects the most vulnerable.